Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to Stoneheart Me Bantos! We're back in a northern town, we're still building our big house here. And uh, currently we're mostly working on the harbor, so this is what we got so far. Since the latest video, I has uh, made our harbor a little bit bigger, so I added this thing here. And I thought it would be fun if there were like a chair and some kind of dresser here with some place to put things and uh, maybe they will register what is going through for trading and people are bringing goods and uh, do trading with them and stuff like that. So that's what we got going so far. We got the crane house and our little harbor. A few small things going on here. And the thing that I like the most really is this thing so far. I think this is pretty cool. But today I'm gonna show you guys something new as well that I've been making. So this is a new thing that I've been making, a boat guys, and the idea is that we will have these to sit in the harbor next to our pier going out here. Maybe they will be sitting like that, so we got some boats, and I think they look pretty nice. I also have another version I made a little bit before, I haven't decided if I'm gonna use both or just one of them. But here's another one, this one is a lot bigger, I think that maybe it is a little bit too wide maybe, perhaps? Not sure what you guys think, but we could use both if we want, and that will give us two different kinds of boats if you want to do that. But I think I will be adding in to have uh, this first boat here, it's a little bit smaller, to have two of them. And maybe them, one of them can be uh, this side, might be better. And I had to do a little bit of a trick as well to get them to be going in the water, so you see a little pole here. Because if I do remove this thing, the entire thing will go red. And the uh, different ways could do it would be to like build this first, and uh, then drop the ship above it without uh, the pole. It will drop on this thing. And then you just remove that after, for example. That's one way you could do it. But I think we'll do it like this for now. It's just gonna be... The simplest way for us to do it, but I think it looks pretty cool. It makes the town look even better, I would say. Let's see here, we got a trader approaching the town. 11 simple wooden shares, we have 10 balls of cloth. That is actually a pretty good trade, if my carpenter can do those. So let's see if we can actually do them. It could be a pretty, pretty good trade. So this is the share they wanted, and uh, let's make sure we make more than we need, always better to do. Because you never know if you're gonna spend one or so. That's gonna hopefully be doable to do. How long time did we have? Three days, so I think that should be possible. And I also got a comment from Finder Sword, who is uh, behind the mod Space Medic in the game and Command that I can use with the debug tool as I have up here. If I go in here, I'm just gonna pretty much call in the event to get the Varanuses to attack us. Simply because the game is refusing us to spawn these guys and for that reason we are gonna have to do something like this yes so we can get the Varanus meat and I'm gonna say summon four encounters so four encounters of Varanus and uh, we're gonna see some of them here is one of them hello Mr. Varanus so I haven't seen them in a very long time and like I said in previous video it's a little bit weird progression that it'll need Varanus meat because it's always the risk that one of your harvests will eat up the meat or that there will be no spawns, which has been the case for us. Let's make sure we have the job. The job is turned on for the soldiers. We do not have our cleric. I don't think we really need a cleric in this battle. But I guess it doesn't hurt to promote Cinnabons to be a, a cleric again. So stop working on the flowers and start healing. But I think this should be pretty easy because this is an early on monster you fight early on. But they do have a pretty good amount of health. We have 1,200 health, which is a pretty significant amount. Is now an extraordinary crafter. Crafted 25 excellent quality items. That's quite impressive. Good job, dude. So this will be the first one we take down. And I did remove, so we're not going to craft anything with the Varanus meat. And I'm not sure how much money you're going to get from one of these guys. We did get like two of them, it looks like. Should be three more encounters of Varanus. That's uh, 
Um, eventually. They can be far away. Oh, I see one is fighting over here. Let's go and deal with these guys. Let's send an attack and we can fight the kobolds. So they are hostile towards each other. The kobolds are doing the work for us for the moment, pretty much. I think since we got two shepherds, I think it's working maybe a little bit better now. So uh, one of them will be working maybe with the bunnies and one with the sheep. We have two sheep and we have three bunnies at the moment. Now we got invaders here. I think we will be... If we decide to attack, I think we're gonna be safe though, because we do have our turrets here, which are super powerful. I think we should be able to deal with them, even though we're not at home with our soldiers. Where's my people though? I think they maybe met someone while going here. I'm a little bit confused. Let's make sure... Okay, I disabled that one. Let's make sure we go here instead. The attack command... Um, I don't know, it's it's pretty weird. I think we should maybe return. Look at these guys. Just standing outside here dying, pretty much. While well, my turret is shooting them in the face. Pretty nice, right? But I'm gonna go back here and fight them since my people didn't get so far. Let's go and fight these guys. But look at the power of the turrets. I'm not sure if you can even select it and decide like, oh, you can attack this guy. It looks like maybe it actually works. Let's see if I click this guy. Okay, I don't think it cares. What happens since I can give it command? What happens if I give it the move command? <laughs> Will it walk away? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> that would be fun. pretty fun if it did actually. Yeah, we're back here. Let's make sure we take down the healers. That's the guys that's gonna go down first. Steel Maze! The Org Biter. Kill five followers of the Red Kill. Very nice. We should probably get out our... Should probably get out our gong sometime soon, would be nice. Long North and Bow has achieved a new title. Can opener. It killed 10 followers. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, the last little guy. You're not getting away. Kick the golden. You're gonna get slammed in the face, man. So our biggest focus now, I think, is gonna be, be to like build our current houses that we are that we have designed here, like this house and some arbor and stuff. And then we're gonna focus really to try to make sure that we can get the fun fire I want to get at. We do have rancid meat now. We do need rabbit jerky and raw mutton. And I will be moving also the trapping ground. So I'm gonna move the ones that we have pretty much inside of the town. So we're gonna have them outside. Good job, my people. Good job. So we do have some trapping here. So I'm gonna remove these. So both of them had a big game. So instead we will be able to fill out with houses and stuff like that to really make this hopefully look pretty cool when it comes to the harbor. And we maybe will move the market stalls. We might move them over here later. Because that might make sense. So we got some bug trapping and some animal like the small bunnies. So I'm gonna do... let's do maybe big game. Is this one better for big game? Big game do require quite a lot of uh, trees and stuff going on. I think two of them might be hopefully good enough for one trapper. Since we have two shepherds now, we might want to get another trapper, but we also need to have enough builders. I think I'm gonna do a thing that is maybe a little bit risky, but I'm gonna allow two more people to join. And that means that if you guys have name suggestions, drop them in the comments. There's two names that's gonna be open for grabs. So just drop a suggestion and I will be selecting 
Two people to be named in the game? And I think I will, for every person that writes here, I will randomize who gets the names. I will take all the names that I got on this video, and then I will randomize which two people is going to get names in the game. But we also do need to beat the, the goal, but we're doing that pretty good. 25,000 net worth, we need 9,450, and uh, we have uh, 1,700, and we only need 750 for edibles, so we are doing pretty okay, I would say. But I wonder, maybe I want to have some of my people that are not building at the moment. To help with building for a while. I'm gonna have one Donato. Petrushenko is gonna go around and do other stuff. And uh, let's make sure we go into settings here and I'm gonna uncheck a thing if I have it on. So if you have the Ace expansion, you have a lot more options here and... Um, This was the thing I wanted to disable, but it was already disabled, so this one pretty much auto-harvest everything that you have harvested before, so if you have berry bushes, they will auto-harvest that. And it is pretty useful at times because it saves you a lot of micromanaging, so you don't have to go and like farm, farm, farm. They will pretty much take care of it themselves. That was pretty good. A rotten sweet potato. I didn't know that they got rotten actually when they're sitting on the ground. It makes sense, but I didn't know it. So let's pick them up before all of them get rotten. And let's see the camp over here. Let's go deal with these guys. They're still around. And there might be some Varanus meat. Or maybe they didn't drop it because it was other enemies that killed them. Perhaps you need to be the one that brings down a Varanus for it to uh, give something. I feel like it's time down here soon also to do more mining so, so, so pretty much we can get some stone that will be pretty close and nearby so I'm gonna dig out so we have a little bit of path up here around I think that's gonna be pretty cool and that's gonna be good enough for now it's gonna take a while to dig anyway let's see how many people are going there this time they're taking the correct way so it's safest to use the move command, that way you know that your people are actually gonna go where you sent them to go, pretty much. Hey you little cobalts, give back my Varanus meat, give it back. We got something interesting here, guys. We're gonna check it out right after the battle here. The rabbits are back, so that's gonna be awesome. Let's destroy the campfire first. And in the future, by the way, guys, when you have pretty days, you know, your people, they are affected by weather, if it's cold, if it's warm, and stuff like that. And in the future, as I understood it, it's uh, supposed that uh, these enemies are also gonna be affected. I'm not sure if they're gonna lose health, but... Uh, you're gonna be affected that uh, they're gonna be slowed down when it's a blizzard going on and stuff like that. So I'm kind of looking forward to that because it's kind of um, kind of hard to chase down some enemies sometimes when you're slowed down, but the enemies are like, I'm I'm still fast. It's a blizzard. Who cares? I'm still fast. I think this is last little fellow. Here we go, rabbit residence. So a pair of my more adventurous kin are interested in immigrating to the above ground. In fact, they specifically ask me, ask you if you might have a place for them. Yes, we would love to have them. Splendid! Some accommodation must first be made. You see, the amberstone crystals are more than a mere light source. They are also what keeps us from reverting to the simple animals you see hopping around to the surface. Never fear, such a process takes considerable time. All the same, a rabbit home would not be comfortable without an amber stone at its center. I will leave this amber stone pedestal, build or choose a nice home with two bands, and place this pedestal there. Once all is prepared, I will return with my kin. Place the amber stone pedestal near two bands with a high enough appeal. Check the name of the place that I did for live updates. Okay, I will. So, pretty much we got an 
objective to put this Aberstone inside of uh, a house with two beds. And uh, we could probably use one of the houses we already have so we don't have to give my poor little people even more work because they already have so much work as you guys know. So um, let's see if I can find this item. Here it is. Amberstone pedestal. Pedestal with an Amberstone on top. Necessary for Amberstone homes. So we're gonna put it here. It's gonna sit perfect in the middle there. So um, hmm, I think it's gonna be best there. Let's do it here. And then later, I think at least we can move it wherever we want. I don't think anything is really gonna happen if you undeploy it later. It's just kind of a requirement for them to move in. And then later on, we can make a nice new home for them. So let's see, where is my cleric? Because I feel like I want to get him to be an um, herbalist for a while. It's kind of nice to get some more potions. And since I'm using this one energy tonic which speeds up our people, it can save quite a bit of time and we can also spend a lot of the herbs we got. And I'm gonna farm a little bit more so I can make some more potions. Oh, look at that, guys. What a nice home you built for them. They will be here shortly and I'm sure they'll be charmed. Thank you, thank you. So that means, guys, that we will have four new names. So, um, drop new name suggestions, guys. Look at that, guys. We got two bunnies. Here they are. A rabbit mason. A rabbit worker. Okay, so I got a mason. And I got a worker. Nice. Drop names in the suggestion, guys, and I will be randomly selecting a name. If you already have a name, I will might let someone else get a name just so everyone have the chance to get into the town. So we got Rokala, which has an uh, passionate to be a potter. And we also got the uh, K Tower, which has really good stats and trait of a green thumb, which is good work on a farm. So both of them had pretty good stats. I'm really happy with that. So very, very welcome, Mr. Bunny people. Hope you can have a nice day here. Looks like they're just pretty much running around town at this point. Oh, I already got a nice backpack. That's good to see. Oh, is that the bunny gonna eat some meat? <laughs> I don't know, but that's that feels kind of um, kind of creepy to me. Okay, so we have used quite a bit of the herbs, but um, we're gonna get some more. This is a good source of getting more herbs. But uh, we did get another mason, and I don't think I want to have two mason. Oh, wow, that was actually a master mason, really? That is pretty OP. Level 5 mason. Can be an archer, and it can also be a geomancer. I'm gonna go for worker for now. I wonder if it's the same for... Uh, K-Tower, if uh, that's the same professions. Okay, so it is the same. So two new workers, that's gonna be awesome. That means we can end up with 25 people, which I think is really going to be a maximum, because then hopefully the game is still going to run pretty decently okay. This one is getting further and further. It needs a lot of um, a lot of furniture later on, though. How are we doing here? Now I really feel like I want to get a tier 3 town, it would be awesome. Well, yeah, we might maybe need to... maybe we need some food. I think they'll have enough food at this point, at least. But we might need to do some soon. But I don't see any starving animals now, so I think we should be pretty good. Look at them bunnies and sheep sleeping together. But let's see here, do we still have, um... Yes, we still, ha still have the Varanus meat, that's good. So, raw mutton and rabbit jerky. I wonder if I can... See if I can butch one of our dead bunnies. And uh, then we probably also want to make sure that uh, we stop doing this one, yeah, so we don't spend all the jerk on that. We're gonna focus mostly on fish for now. 
That's gonna be good. We do have a pretty good amount of fish and food and everything at the moment, so... Let's see how a Canadian is doing. Uh, level 1, haven't really got much experience yet. It's gonna take a long time because uh, being level 6 trapper, then it's gonna take a very long time to level. Bromley, however, is a shepherd level 4. Shepherd skill produces greater yields of animal products. Oh, that's good. So then we would probably prefer to have him to do the work. I wonder if we should really have the Canadian. Like, do we need to them? Not sure. But considering we have so many animals, we will have so many. It might be good because then we have two people that are able to feed them, capture them, harvest them and stuff like that. Okay, we got a Vrans coming over here. Let's go with him, guys. I'm still not sure if we will need a cleric. I don't think so. Let's try it without the cleric for now. He's just watching outside the door. Yeah, he's definitely not doing much damage, like doing maybe a 5 per hit or something, so... He's going down pretty quick. And we have another one up here. I'm quite happy we got this uh, code sent by Fire the Swords that we can use that one. Yes, yeah, so we can progress without town because it was... It was getting a little bit frustrating when you can't continue because the game is kind of... Um, preventing you because... It requires a thing that the game doesn't spawn, which is a very odd situation, I would say. And I think I've tried to like send in at least like 50 merchants and no one has been selling in the Vranesmeet, so I think Vranesmeet might be something that you can buy at tier 3, which wouldn't be good if it was a tier 2 instead. But I'm not entirely sure about it. Let's maybe fall back with Roloff a bit. So he doesn't have to tank this guy as well. Here we go. Fees has killed 10 minions of the wild. Very nice. I feel like it's going pretty good, guys. We've got two more bunnies joining, which is pretty awesome. And uh, we also will be getting two more people later. So for this episode, I will let you guys get to name two of these guys. So two of the bunnies, I will randomly select two names from the comments, guys. Drop it in the comments, and I will be selecting that, so... This is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching today's episode, and uh, we'll be back soon with a new episode with Stone Harf and maybe some new games as well. I'll be looking into some new games, and one of them is um, my time at Porsche. So let me know if you guys would be interested to see me play that game. It's a very, very cute and interesting game, pretty similar to Harvest Moon and uh, Star the Valley and those farming games. But guys, thanks for being here today, hope you enjoyed and hope you liked the chips and uh, we will be back soon with more videos with Stonehearth and uh, don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you get notified when I upload new videos. So thanks for watching and see you guys soon.